Welcome to the Finance Storyteller series. In this video we will cover the common routes to tax evasion, crime novels and corporate scandals. There is a concept underlying all three of these and it comes from the world of auditing and internal controls. It's called the fraud triangle. The first element is incentive or pressure, like having secret gambling debts that your spouse doesn't know about. The second element is opportunity. When no one counts the money in the safe, there is an opportunity to steal some of it. The third element is attitude or rationalization, coming up with a story as to why it would be okay to do it. Unfortunately, humans are great at this kind of self-delusion. What is likely to happen after the Panama Papers is that there will be a public outcry for more and better laws and regulations. Better controls decrease the opportunity. That's the same thing that happened after the Enron and WorldCom scandals early in this, this century, when Sarbanes-Oxley was implemented. I agree that improvement can be made in this area, but we have to take a balanced approach and be careful not to move towards control obesity, where it becomes almost impossible to run a company. An ongoing effort that is underway is to change the pressures and incentives. More alignment in tax rates and tax regimes would be a big step forward. This will take a long time to negotiate and implement, and some countries and corporations might not be very eager to cooperate. Besides, greed has been and will be a common human trait. There, there will always be people pushing the boundaries with new schemes and tricks. A more fundamental and longer term fix would be to work in the area of rationalization. Can we change the attitudes of people with positions of power? I propose a mandatory basics of philosophy and ethics course for each and every person in a senior leadership position. It's about doing things right and doing the right things. If you want to make a start on studying moral philosophy, here are four names you should know. Aristotle, the Greek philosopher who inquired into a moral code of conduct for good living. Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill who judged actions by their outcomes. And Immanuel Kant, one of the most influential philosophers of the Enlightenment, who designed the moral framework based on principles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. More videos coming soon.